Hello YouTube, RandomMouth64 here with another video, and today I am going to be showing you all the quirks of Java Redstone. I'm sorry to all you Bedrock users, this stuff will not apply to you. Badly. Uh, so, this is what we call an activity. Now, this is like normal redstone knowledge that if you power this block, it's gonna power that piston. And the same thing goes for that block. If you power that block, it's just gonna go to that piston. Now, because of features like basic connectivity, which is a simpler version of quasi connectivity, so really just quasi connectivity, and bud powering, these features kind of make some very weird, interesting concepts especially with pistons now the same concept tends to work with droppers and dispensers and redstone lamps as well but i'm just gonna be using pistons because i think it's the most easily visible version so if i replace this blue block here with this piston now you'll see that both of these pistons get powered this piston on the bottom is being bud powered and a bud powering only works diagonally, but normally with bud powering, normally with bud powering, you need a block update to change the state. Now that's gonna update because that server is there, but so what you need to so this is being bud powered. But if you don't have that lever active, right? So that's not powered. That shouldn't be being bug powered. Flip the top lever, it still powers. Now, why is that? That's because when Notch was making the pistons, he copied over the activation code for the iron door at the time. It was the only block that would change its state when it was powered. Most other blocks were just to extend stuff and or not even extend stuff, just to like delay the redstone signal like a repeater or change the state of rest and torch but this was the only block that actually changed its positions so he just copied this code right on over to the pistons well because of that when a piston gets powered it can get powered from all sides but it acts like an iron door in the sense that it can also get powered from above so this one block an iron door would be checking if this piston was an iron door. This is technically part of the piston. So if you come up here and you power like this, it's going to get powered. Now it has to get a block update because there's another piston here, but you can essentially like power through stuff like. As long as you get the block and update. But just how bug powering tends to work. Well, okay, that makes a bit more sense. Well, now that you might be questioning what happens if I place this piston with this orange block. This also activates. This activates because of because of connectivity. And the fact that there is a block that's being powered right next to this piston. Okay, well, what about if you place the red block? The red block, no matter what I do, won't activate. And this side piston here, I forgot to mention, this will only get powered by this top lever. Because technically, the air above it is being powered. Because if you put anything here, that's technically being powered. That's being powered. So it's checking for this block up here. It's checking this air block to see if it gets powered. Because if you notice, if I come over here and I do this, that doesn't work at all. And this doesn't work because you can't chain powers. Like, you can't change, like, quasi chain quasi connectivity and stuff. You would have to have another lever up on top here. You have to have another lever up on top to power it. 
but normally it won't power because you're what you're trying to do because the way that this works sorry the way that this works is that this lever powers this piston well this piston basically becomes a source power block through quasi connectivity which only goes down because you see it only goes down this block then gets powered so it's like having a redstone lamp there this block gets powered which empowers that piston but because this block is the source block and not the piston it won't power that piston this piston no matter what you do if you flick either of these two levers any combination even if i put a block next to it when they're both active it's not going to change now okay now here is some more interesting quads connectivity stuff this piston here is checking this block up here to see if it's powered which it is it's like having a fake redstone lamp there you can always see this is more of a visual now as you see the piston will extend and retract even if i get rid of the redstone lamp and it's because it sinks it's an iron door and it's checking this block up here Now the same thing happens here, very similar thing happens here, I mean, where this piston is checking this block above it because it thinks it's an iron door, and this redstone torch is powering this air block beneath it, and this piston's being directly powered from the redstone torch. Now if you use the other type of connectivity, the basic connectivity or the more simpler form of quasi, I should say. This redstone torch is going to power this piston and this air block. This air block then powers this piston down here, but because this piston gets direct power from the redstone torch, this now becomes a source block and through regular, the simpler form of quasi connectivity, and powers that piston. Now, there's this interesting thing called bud powering, which I did mention on early in that video earlier, or with that example over there. And bud powering is very interesting because it only activates when you get a block update. So as you can see right now, these pistons are being powered diagonally as you, as you can see because it's powering this block which is powering the piston powering this block powering the piston it's being powered diagonally but nothing's changing and that's because you need a block update and even if you turn it off it doesn't do anything because what's happening that was here okay um because what's happening is this pet this redstone dust is the only thing providing a block update but it's still powering these blocks and because these are main power because these become source powers that can power this piston and that piston through the connectivity or the regular type of quasi connectivity and when you power because there's no block updates from the redstone changing from off to on, it doesn't change anything until you provide a block update yourself. Now you might be asking, well, when is this useful? This is useful when you want to, let's say, power... You want to power this piston. And then you have, but you have like, let's say you have... Ah, oh, my gosh. You have a piston up here. Normally, what you want, normally what you would do, power just the, to power these, would be put a block here. But as you can see, it powers the top piston. What if you don't want the top piston to power? Well, if you get rid of this block, because of bug powering connectivity, it will then power down here. Now, this works because the source input is coming from this repeater. 
and this repeater sends a block update. What happens if I got rid of the repeater? I put a block there instead. Now it's being mud powered. Nothing's gonna happen unless you provide a block update. But then that piston is still not powered. Another way that mud powering is useful is for the magical button, or the floating button, or the floating lever, whatever you want to call it. This, what this does is this is a observer clock that runs into itself like this, so it's just two observers are constantly blinking into each other. Then, and when you power a hopper, normally a hopper locks. And when you lock a hopper, that means items can't go through it, but that's not really necessary to know. But this hopper is locking and unlocking constantly because of this observer clock. But when a hopper locks, that provides a block update allows for this piston to be now activated through a bit of quasi-connectivity and bug powering. Normally, you can't activate this piston if you don't have this bean hop, if you don't have this working, if you don't have that uh, hopper there. If I power this, it doesn't work until you place a block up. Well, this is just always providing a block up to the piston. So then what happens is, if you press this button, or you flick this lever, this slab here is game powered. This kind of is it is like game powered from this block up top. And then that makes this piston be able to move. But powering is also good for like you could see it being used for a T flip flop, which is where you press a button once, and the state changes, so like if I press this button... As long as you make sure that this gets a block update right away, and then before the button goes... That is not supposed to happen, it's happened twice, and I don't know why, I think it has to do something with how the world is loading. Or changing times. As you see, if I press this button now, it doesn't change. And that's good, because a T flip flop, you normally want it to change when you press the button. So what you would want to do is you want to set up something like this, where you have the piston, and then you have your output, which could be this redstone block. And then, let's see, if I put a server. Let's see what this works. No, no. Uh, I don't know how you'd get it to work exactly off the top of my head, but I could see this being used for a T flop flop because the T flop flop just makes it so. When you press the button once, it's on, and then you press it again, and it's off. Now, this uh, the quasi connectivity, and is also good for the good old classic Jeb door. Now, a lot of people have probably heard of this, and if you are in Bedrock, you would have learned that after I want to say it was update. 1.14 the jeb door stopped working on bedrock and that's because they updated the pistons and changed them when they added in the observers the way that this door works though as you can see nothing's powering these bottom pistons so what happens is this block these blocks up here powered these pistons and because these pistons are getting powered I guess you could say they're getting like they're getting hard powered. I guess you could say because they're being powered directly, and that allows these pistons down below to get soft powered because they're not being powered from the direct power source because it's making this new piston a power source, quote unquote. 
And the same thing is happening for these pistons after they get pushed out. And this allows you to have a flush 2x2 two two piston door. So if you were walking down this hallway and that hidden and that lever was like hidden, you had a hallway and you're walking down it, you're not gonna know that door is there until it opens. And then if you want, you can close it right up from the other side. Thank you for watching i hope you like this video i know this was kind of a confusing topic to dive into but i promise you that the more you use quiz connectivity and bud powering in your redstone builds the easier it gets to understand this is random off 64 uh, if you like this video subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye.